Hello, this is Inez from Tolerated Cinematics and today I will be showing you how to get started in Adobe Premiere CS5.5. Uh, of course, this will work in every single version of uh, Premiere because these are the very, very basics and I won't show any uh, new specific things from the CS5.5 so don't worry about the version. Um, once you open uh, Adobe Premiere, you will see something like this. Um, this is a new project. Uh, I always leave it at uh, its ton uh, standards. Uh, you can change the display uh, mode to frames or to time mode. Uh, depends on what you like. I like uh, time code. Also, the loca uh, location from your pro uh, project, you can choose it right over here at browse and just browse wherever you want to save it. I won't save it, so I won't browse. The name of your project, you can just type it right over here. Test. Okay, for me it will be test. Then hit OK. And override, yes. Um, if you want to upload it to YouTube, and uh, the best thing is you can uh, use is HDV, um, but um, make sure the frames are the same exact frames from your footage. So if you have a 60 frames footage, uh, use a 60 frames um, composition over here, um, preset, I'm sorry. Uh, if you have a 30 frames per second, don't use the 824 because it will, it will be messy. So um, I will take a 30 frames per second, 720 HDV because I recorded it with my iPhone. Um, okay, sequence name, you can just um, main comp, well, main sequence because we're working in Premiere and not in After Effects. So then hit OK. And then you will see this right over here. If you get started and you never used it before, it all looks pretty messy and well unorganized, but um trust me it will come by time. So um this over here is your project. Over here you will have your footage and everything you want to use in your timeline. Your timeline is everything you're editing, and everything you're editing you will be able to see it right over here in the preview mode. And if you double click on your footage, you will see it right over here. And that is the source mode. Uh, oh, right over here, the source mode. Um, that then you can see your uh, your footage unedited. Uh, here is the effects controls, and normally it will be closed for you. Uh, you can get it by click on Windows and just click effects and effects controls, and you'll get it right over here. You can also move everything to another position. So if you click on effects and controls, and you want to uh, like over here, so you can just drag and uh, drag, uh, drag and drop it right over here, and then just click on the tabs to change uh, to the tabs again. But I like it over here, so I'll keep it right over here. Uh, these are the effects and the browser to browse on your computer, and some information about your clips. If you click on the clip, uh, well, there is not inf no information yet. So, okay. Um, the workspace over here, the audio workspace, color correction uh, workspace. Yeah, I'm saying it correctly. I'm sorry. Okay, the effects and um, yeah, I don't know what this is because I never use it. I actually always keep to editing and just change everything that I want to change. So at the windows, you can just select everything you need. So yeah, we don't really need uh, the workspaces. Um, so let's import our uh, footage first, so we can get started. Right click, import and import your footage. So I'm going to my D disk and iPhone film footage. Okay, laundry day festival I went to. Okay, I'm gonna import this, open it up, and you'll see it right over here. Uh, if you have a lot of uh, of footage, the best thing is you can do is create files for every new thing. So like calling this footage and drop every uh, film footage right in there, and then your sequences. If you have a lot of sequences, uh, just drop your sequences in there. I'm going to drop this out of the footage because it's in the, in the file. Uh, of course I don't have to do this because uh, yeah I only have two things so it doesn't matter. I'm still going to use it. I'm going to drop and drag it. Uh, take and drag it right in my timeline on the video one. And I have my audio bind it to the, um, to the footage so if you want to unlink that you can just right click and unlink it and just drag out your audio or even delete it. If you want to use your own audio um, just go to your music and um, well um, I'm gonna import some sound effects maybe. Okay, uh, sound effects. 
and just drag it into your project. Rename it. It's Thunder. I don't know why I'm using that sound, but it doesn't matter. You can create a new file, sound effects, and drag that right in there. And drag your Thunder on your audio timeline. You can also copy and paste it and paste and paste and paste it and just keep doing that to have a beat if you have a kick or whatever and if you want to use something else and you have something else like a bass you can just do it over here and drop it back there on the other um, tracks okay there we go um, also if you want to add or delete a track just right click delete tracks or add tracks add tracks um, like add two video tracks and no audio tracks and just hit OK and they'll show up right over here if you click on the arrows uh, you'll have a more specific um, thing like we can close this down but if you want to edit it so and uh, like fading it out you will have to need um, this over here so if you click on the footage I want to fade it in well as you can see it's not the correct size I'm going to scale it up um, okay, there we go. I'm gonna scale it up and click on your footage. Click on the stopwatch right over here. Uh, I mean the keyframe. And click on the keyframe and then just go to the beginning of your footage and click on the keyframe again. Then just get your mouse over that first keyframe and drag it just uh, until it's at 0%. And then your opacity will be at 0 and it will fade in. Okay, um, if you want to scale it up or I'm gonna scale it uh, down. Okay, you can just um, well, let's duplicate our, our track first, and we want to create like a video in a video. Just drag this on the top video right over here, uh, like they're above each other, and then click on this one. Okay, just scale it like 50, and position it like right over here on the top like you see in the um, on TV or whatever you can never film on the on the right top or whatever uh, so this is a video in a video for example uh, but we won't do this for now so I'm gonna delete this if you wanna add effects you can go to um, window effects and you will see them right over here audio effects or video effects also transitions um, but we will use audio, uh, video effects We'll add some color correction, so color correction, and we're going to take a brightness and contrast. Drop it on your footage, and we'll see uh, it will come up in your video effects. And let's change the brightness to 5 and the contrast to 15, and we'll see it's much darker. And it's coming, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it's looking better if you close this um, down, or you see a lot of difference. You can also add um, color balance, drop that down less rats like mine three minus three I can keep changing all these settings but I want to show you every single effect right over here we'll have to mess around a little bit because and because yeah we don't have time enough to to show every single uh, effect and you will also learn much more about the effects uh, if you're using them yourself and you're trying it out yourself um, you will get to know much more so okay back to the uh, to the editing uh, if you only want to render a part from your video, everything that you see over here in this um, gray area will be rendered. So if you drag this to like the half of it, you will see um, you will only render this part. So until here, it will be rendered. Okay. So if you want to um, you want to mark, you want to put it on the audio and you want to synchronize it to your video. You can double click and uh, double click on the audio and it will come up to the source uh, right over here. You can just listen to the audio and where you hear a beat, you can just go over there and press the star on your numpad and you will have a marker. And that marker will also, if you move your footage, so I'm gonna zoom in here, you can zoom with this, you can zoom in and uh, in and out, so you will have to zoom in if you want to edit more specifically and if you want to see the whole project just uh, just zoom out. So um, we set our marker in this audio file. Now, if you drag your footage, it will snap to that marker. So, as you can see, it's a really helpful thing to um, synchronize your videos. Um, so, with that said, uh, we can move on to the next one. Um, 
keyframing the positions uh, again you can also do something else like um, if we go back to the effects window um, effects controls and like scale it over time you can also select everything right click and ease it in and that will make it much smoother so this easy in and out will um, smooth um, the, the movement of your position and you can do this with brightness and everything um, you can keyframe everything um, okay so if you go if you want to go back to the beginning just click on this one over here go to in and then just play it back or if you want to pre-render it okay that is just stupid sound I don't know why I use it just for the tutorial you can also pre-render it by clicking right over here and uh, oh yeah I'm gonna stop it um, okay I think I said a lot of things so what did I what didn't I say yet uh, okay the information about your video so if you click on your video um, click on the video you'll see every information over here so um, okay so I think I said a lot of things right now um, maybe you can also start right now in uh, Premiere uh, if you still have any questions um, just post them on my um, well just send me a private message on my channel because I always check my private messages and so I'll try to help you out if you don't know something uh, also be subscribed to my channel for my upcoming videos and also check out my channels because I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of tutorials about uh, a lot of uh, software so I have tutorials about Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere as you can see right now uh, Adobe uh, Dreamweaver, Photoshop, um, Sony Vegas even, uh, Cinema 4D a few uh, so yeah be sure to check out my channel and uh, thanks for watching goodbye goodbye